person's discretion. Senator Brown and her colleagues wanted a public airing out of what happened. I would think that everyone in the legislature would want to have a public accounting of this issue so that we can identify what is the key problem and what do we do to correct it so that it doesn't happen again so that we and obviously the members of our community can have some trust in the process. Speaker Terlahi released a step-by-step -step account of what happened from staff who are supposed to log what occurs with each amendment. This was an unusual amendment because it neither passed nor failed. It was ruled out of order. And, it, and so it had a different type of comment. And I, you know, that's when the error began is when they were supposed to clean the bill for voting, it, it was not cleaned properly, you know, obviously. And from then on, we were using this uh, poison pill, if you will. It was Terlahi's amendment to remove the qualifying date for claimants that was wrongly inserted into the bill. So when something like this happens, it's very concerning, uh, and it should be to all of us, because if, if an action can be contrary, I mean, if anyone can insert something intentional or unintentional, we should be very concerned about how did that happen and what steps do we need to correct that. I'm kind of surprised by the accusations that are being made, because it's very clearly, it's a bad error, but it's a clerical error. Why are we hiding from the people? And why are we hiding from each other on this? Us going in a back room having this conversation does not resolve the issue. We got the clerks to put in writing um, every detail of their process, which is an internal process, not really necessary to discuss that publicly, but we did. We put it in writing. Even better than a public discussion is it, it is in writing. And we should be demanding that transparency, and that's, that's not what's happened here. When I say that this breeds a seed of mistrust, of course it does. It breeds a seed of mistrust when you're not willing to come forth and publicly account for it. I tell them, they want to yell at anyone, go ahead and yell at me, because, you know, I am the speaker, that's fine. But I don't think we need to bash employees to get where we need to go. If anybody thinks I'm not angry about this error, of course I am. I'm frustrated. This is not the standard. I think the legislature should hold itself to and, uh, and I very much expect that these types of errors will never occur again. For Guam's News Network, I'm Nestor Leconto.